हेलो एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन एड्यूट ऐप एंड द स्कीम दैट वी आर कवरिंग टुडे इट इज किसान क्रेडिट कार्ड ऑल राइट सो दिस हैज रिसेंटली बीन इज हैज बीन इन न्यूज एंड दैट इज व्हाई इट बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड आल्सो वन ऑफ यू हैड आस्क मी टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन इट सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द स्कीम टुडे बट एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट वाज द न्यूज एंड व्हाट आर द इंपॉर्टेंट स्टैटिक डायमेंशंस दैट कैन बी आस्क फ्रॉम इट बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग हैज एन अनाउंसमेंट फॉर ऑल द एस्पिरेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सेंट्रल रेगुलेटरी बॉडीज वी हैव कम अप विद वन स्टॉप सॉल्यूशन गाइड टू ऑल द क्वेरीज दैट यू माइट बी हैविंग regarding the organization you want to join for example you want to know about nabard sebi uh, or uh, or rbi right so what uh, what is its role in indian economy what are the, uh, what are the different departments in it what uh, will be your role once you join the organization everything has been comprehensively mentioned once that is done then all about the recruitment process how many phases are there what is the pattern of each phase how many time do you get eligibility criteria syllabus previous year cutoffs and what not whatever question you might be having in your mind everything are discussed in this so uh, do not miss the opportunity you can download these e guide books free of cost from the link that is present in the description box below now if we come to the syllabus of esi specifically <clears throat> you you'll appear if you appeal for rbi nearby or even nabard as well we have agriculture indian agriculture as a very important component of esi and also all the uh, all the facilities that are there to promote the farmers everything uh, are uh, they become very important from the examination point of view and what was the news so this is of 3rd may 2023 where nationwide ahdf what is your it is your animal husbandry and dairying uh, uh, department so basically uh, the real name of this is fisheries animal husbandry and dairy डिपार्टमेंट ठीक है नाउ दे हैव रन अ कैंपेन ओके बिकॉज सी इनिशियली वेन दिस स्कीम वॉज लॉन्च इट वॉज ओनली फॉर क्रॉप Uh, farmers who were engaged with the cropping but in 2018 19 then this particular scheme kcc it was then eligible uh, then it became uh, available for the uh, for the farmers who are uh, who are engaged in animal husbandry dairying and fishery sector okay that is why so uh, that is why what has been done now more of the uh, focus on uh, on the the such farmers by the ministry will be done so that more and more people are prom- uh, they get aware of what is this kcc scheme what are the benefits that they can take theek hai now why was this initially introduced so basic uh, basically see whenever farmer or in any business whenever you want to do expansion or promotion of course in that particular one uh, you you would have to take some money right you would have to invest some money so that you can expand your business or even you you can establish some business so what is farming it is a kind of business only right so if you look at the farmer he had two options because usually and especially farmers in india we don't uh, we don't have much uh, money with them right so they have two two ways to get loan or to get money either by bank okay or by the money lenders okay though these are un- official money uh, unofficial people money lenders at from the village only now with the problem of bank was first of all they would have to uh, bank always take collateral uh, for the loan that it provides what does it mean if you are not able to pay back the loan of course there should be some asset of that particular value so that bank is not at loss first of all this thing is now if we ta- talk about india around 80 to 86% are small and marginal farmers and even if you talk about people who are uh, tenant farmers who are just uh, working on some others farmers uh, other uh, person field they do not have this collateral uh, with them right so one problem was that and another problem with bank was a lot of documentation that was there ठीक है तो डॉक्यूमेंटेशन काफी होता था एंड दिस इज वेरी इट्स वेरी टायरिंग प्रोसेस फॉर फॉर स्पेशली फॉर अ फार्मर हु इज नॉट वेल एजुकेटेड टू गो थ्रू दीज सिनारियोज राइट सो दैट इज वाई वॉट दे यूजली यूज टू डू दे यूज टू गो टू मेनी लैंडर नाउ हेयर वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द इंटरेस्ट रेट चार्ज इज वेरी हाई लाइक वेरी वेरी हाई द परसेंटेज दैट इज चार्ज बाय द फार्मर बाय अ मनी लैंडर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इवन इफ फार्मर इज नॉट एबल टू गिव बैक द मनी और इवन इफ इफ ही इज गिविंग बैक द मनी एट द ड्यूली टाइम मनी लैंडर दे यूजली दे डोंट रीट farmer in the right way they then consider farmers to be their servants uh, and a lot of humiliation farmer would have to face uh, in the society if they if even if for one installment they are not able to give back at the due time right so that is why for these uh, understanding to to preserve to preserve the farmer from such uh, such cases uh, the farm uh, the uh government of india they came up with this scheme where uh, basically the idea was to uh, make ease for the farmers to approach bank with the collaterals and documentation process being the least and also here the person uh, the interest rate that is charged that is also at the uh, at very less amount so that farmer get they can actually pay back the loan now what is this percent amount and all these things we will just look at but the basic essence of providing the kisan credit card was this and basically the aim was to aim was to provide timely and adequate credit basically money farmers would need at at uh, certain 
uh, stages in farming we require money right for example at initially we required uh, for sowing purpose we need seed so at that time we need money for seed then once uh, that is being uh, sown then uh, in the due period we might need for irrigation purpose we might we, we might meet, uh, need, uh, we might need some money right to channelize water in a field we might need money for the fertilizers for the various activities during harvesting time uh, for the laborers all these things right so to provide timely and adequate even the money should be adequate it should not be less because there is no use of that, uh, that money if it is not able to fulfill the farmer's need right so now these needs can be anything now we'll just look at point by point where we'll understand it will for the farming purpose for post harvest for marketing purpose even for personal use so the basic idea you have to keep in mind that for kcc you can use this amount for any any purpose okay uh, we'll look at what is the maximum minimum amount but here just keep in mind because in examination if they just you know uh, put some digits you don't have to care about those digits it is for everyone at the time of crop production you will need uh, money for cultivation expenses right so this uh, you can use kcc for it and post harvest expenses also you can use post harvest means once uh, you have done the harvesting after that uh, for whatever purpose uh for for selling purpose for there are various steps grading washing all these things are involved in post harvest now that is a static component but for that also money is required consumption required now this particular point it was la uh, added later on right because and this was to kept in mind because farmers actually uh, they they during this time period when the crop is being sown they some farmers they don't even have money to take care of their personal needs also right so once they are personally fulfilled then only they'll be able to work in the field well right so that is why this consumption requirement even so what does it mean even for uh, for uh, if you want to avail kcc loan uh, for your personal uh, consumption as a farmer you can also take uh, avail loan for it but usually the criteria is said to be that you should uh, use 10% of whatever loan that you have taken now to the question now how the uh, loan uh, how the farm uh, how the bank is going to know about this right that how much consumption is done for personal purpose so basically if you don't uh, if you are applying this particular money into the field of course you'll get the return and you'll be able to pay back the loan but if you are just consuming consuming the money there will be no return out of it right so you'll not be able to pay back the loan so this will even affect your uh, affect your credit card points that you get uh, get so for every credit card there are some points assigned which basically tells all the banks that how much reliable is it to give you back the money so all these things will impact your future uh, prospect now working capital what is working capital basically whatever money that is required for Uh, day to day basis for the cultivation expenses basically and for maintenance whatever farm assets you have you can take money for that what are the allied activities so basic idea kya hai sab cheez ke liye anything that is related to farming for all these things you can take up the money theek hai so i hope this is clear you don't have to think much of it so launcher of this was 1998 this here the nodal agency is nabar theek hai and why this uh, and how this kcc came into existence so basically this was the recommendation of rv gupta committee and after that nabar they they came up with the kcc okay kisan credit card scheme now see here nabard it is just the nodal agency which will overview that if everything is going smoothly or not but we know that nabard does, does not directly interact with the consumer of course right so of course it will not be able to directly implement it so for implementing purpose we have some other agencies uh, we have cooperative banks we have regional ruler banks small finance banks public sector banks jitne bhi aapke schedule commercial hain ye sab aapke they will be implementing kcc theek hai kafi basic hai isme again i don't think you have to uh, remember much bas aap dekh lo ki jitne bhi hamari financial institution hai almost they everybody they they will provide with the kcc scheme theek hai ab eligibility criteria kya hai eligibility uh, eligibility criteria is as simple as the aim of this particular scheme is in aim we understood for any farming purpose or maybe consumption purpose money can be given right similarly eligibility criteria is anyone who is engaged in agriculture or the uh, or the activities that are associated with it theek hai or even uh, other non farming activities also theek hai to loan aapka kya hai basically agriculture se jo bhi aapko farmers honge na jo sab related uh, sab they come under this particular scheme even if they don't have any land holdings if they have land holdings if they have hundreds of acres if they have just one acre that does not matter everybody is included in it in it there is a minimum age of 18 years in some sources you might find the uh, maximum age as well but if you look uh, look at on the ground level there is no such thing there is no such thing present in rbi website as well it just minimum age is 18 years but once you become a senior citizen okay that is to have a um, age more than 60 years in that case you should have a co borrower that should have come up with you 
Oh, okay, uh, to take the loan. What does it mean? I am 65 years old. Now I am a senior citizen. So they will not directly give me the money on my name. I should have a co-borrower with me so that if in some case something happens to me, the co-borrower will be will be responsible. Okay, for for the uh, for repaying the loan. ठीक है. Scheme also included beneficiary. We we have understood since your uh, financial year 2018, 19, animal husbandry, poultry and fishery sector has also been included. And what is the limit of this particular card? So basically, for five years, once you have uh, done the documentation. So documentation is only one time. The card will be will be valid for five years, but you can renew it. Uh, you have to renew it every year. ठीक है तो क्या मतलब हुआ पांच साल के लिए आपको कार्ड एक बार मिल गया उसके बाद पांच साल के बाद आपको दोबारा इशू होगा बट फॉर दैट फाइव इयर्स आल्सो एनुअली देर इज अ रिन्यूअल दैट हैज टू बी डन ठीक है नाउ हाउ मच मनी सो सी बेसिकली यू कैन इवन टेक मोर देन थ्री लैख अंडर के सी सी ऑल्सो बट ऑफकोर्स दैट वुड डिपेंड इन दैट केस यू वुड हैव टू प्रोवाइड को लैटरल ओके सो एंड देर विल बी नो कंसेशन इन द इंटरेस्ट रेट वट डज इट मीन बिकॉज इफ सम फार्मर इज टेकिंग मोर देन थ्री लैख ऑफकोर्स दे आर केपेबल इनफ टू थिंक ऑफ टू गिव बैक द लोन so in case of 3 lakh more than 3 lakh rupees you would have to follow all the formalities that are usually there in a uh, in a loaning system in banks but specially because this case is targeting such farmers who are not well capable of uh, of taking up the loan directly from the bank so in such cases farmers can take out loan up to 3 lakh without any processing fees because here we are consider considering this farmer the, the average farmer to not be that capable enough to uh, to you know to Uh, spend much money on their own right so what you have to keep in mind more than 3 lakh is also there but uh, usually the limit for short term loan it is what it is 3 lakh only and till this 3 lakh even there will be no processing fees that will be charged by the farmer and also till 3 lakh because i just told you know above 3 lakh there is no concession that has been provided by the government that is the normal general thing that goes on right but in case of till 3 lakh there is the, the the loan that has been taken that will also fall under the interest subvention scheme that we have already studied here you are looking at the link below right this is the link to the interest subvention scheme if you have not watched the video please click on it and watch it is very important from your examination point of view and this will let you know where how we are talking about this 3 lakh will come under the scheme so here basically currently see whatever rate of interest that will be charged that will be uh, design uh, assigned by uh, rbi only that will be decided by rbi currently it is 7% and we have understood that if the farmer is or uh, duly repaying the loan that he has taken then here 4% will be uh, will be taken up by the central government okay so 4% will be adjusted by the central government and only 3% will be uh, given by the uh, by the farmer and there we also looked at there were certain criteria ha na i don't think we are, we have to go deep down in that but if you want to understand here is the link theek hai baaki what we have understood till 3 lakh short term loan can be taken there will be no processing fees till 3 lakh and also this will also fall under the interest subvention theek okay? hai next is no collateral now what does it mean it means see here we have looked at that how 3 lakh Uh, farmer can take up the loan without any processing fees but also till 1.6 lakh even the farmer would not have to provide collateral what does it mean if i am approaching for 2 lakh 2.5 lakh it will be still easier for me to take loan under kcc but in that case i would have to provide with some collateral so uh, how much collateral whatever will be above 1.60 lakh so till 1.60 lakh there will be no collateral above 6.1.60 uh, lakh i would have to provide collateral theek hai aur 3 lakh tak there will be no processing fees is there any confusion do let me know other I'll, uh, otherwise we'll just move ahead theek hai ab isme ek aur criteria hai it usually says that see within one year you would have to repay the loan theek hai but uh, there are certain cases where it can extend to one year but still what the official guideline says that 12 lakh mein aapka koi uh, remaining outstanding nahi hona chahiye it means it should be repayable within one year and of course how the farmer will be promoted to uh, to repay within one year because he would want to have the benefit of interest subvention scheme that we have looked at right interest subvention if i tell you if you have never heard of it it just simply means that government will back up with some of the percentage of the loan that you would have to uh, Uh, rebate to the banks so that you would have some concession concession or you have some relaxation in giving back the money but that will only be considered that will be only done by go uh, central government if you are duly paying back the loan if you are good with your uh, paying back the loan government will help you if you are not you would have to pay the extra charges theek okay? hai 
तो आपका बारह मंथ का आपका क्राइटेरिया मीन्स वन ईयर बेसिकली ट्वेल्व मंथ इट मीन्स वन इट मीन्स वन ईयर राइट इन अब क्या होगा इफ यू हैव अनरोल्ड फॉर के सी सी इफ यू हैव अ किसान क्रेडिट कार्ड ओके इन दैट केस यू विल हैव सम इंश्योरेंस कवरेज ऑल्सो ना वट इज दिस इंश्योरेंस कवरेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल द फार्मर हु हैज हैड दिस के सी सी कार्ड एंड ही हैज फेस्ड एन एक्सीडेंट एंड नाउ इन केस ऑफ पर्सन डिसेबिलिटी परमानेंट डिसेबिलिटी इफ द फार्मर हैज गॉटन और इवन इन केस ऑफ डेथ डेथ रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड विल बी given to the uh, to the family or whoever was the nominee and in case of uh, other risk maybe uh, maybe uh, deadly accident that has taken but there is no disability that has been uh, 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 that has been on the farmer right so in such cases 25000 is given theek okay? hai so these are some of the risk coverage and this we have already understood card valid is for 5 years and subject to annual re renew uh, review theek okay? hai to annually aapka review hoga if you are properly paying back the money if you are properly paying the back uh, you, uh, you are properly paying back the loan then in the next cycle next one year you will get more loan ठीक है तो आपका बेसिकली व्हाट डज इट मीन आपका जो सिविल का आपका जो क्रेडिट कार्ड स्कोर है ठीक है आपका जो क्रेडिट कार्ड स्कोर है वो बेटर हो गया बिकॉज यू रीपेड द लोन एट द एट द टाइम व्हिच वाज मेंशन देयर राइट सो इन दैट केस यू विल नाउ इन नेक्स्ट टाइम फॉर द नेक्स्ट ईयर यू कैन इवन आस्क फॉर मोर मनी एंड इवन यू विल गेट द मोर मनी बिकॉज इवन द बैंक वुड हैव दैट इंश्योरेंस कि यार इसको जब पैसा दो ना ये वापस दे देता है राइट सो एनुअल रिव्यू आपका कार्ड का होता है सो अगेन दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द स्कीम दिस इज जस्ट ऑल अबाउट ऑल द important factors points that we have already discussed theek hai again this was the news which was there now there is a proper uh, uh, now proper, proper campaign that will go on theek hai for providing kisan credit credit card facility to eligible farm uh, uh, animal husbandry dairy and uh, fishery farmers theek hai that was it now here is the homework question for you all please attempt it and these are the toppers of the last session Raj said the right answer. Answer uh, answer C was right, and I've taken your suggestion. Uh, okay, uh, then we have uh, Abdul Hasan. Uh, Abdul Hasan, I I hope uh, you uh, you're happy because this was in news, so we have covered right. Then we have Rishab saying the right answer. Then we have Rakhi saying the right uh, right answer. Uh, VTC, see, I looked on this scheme. I checked up on uh, reform link distrib distribution scheme, but there was no major changes that have been taken, or in fact, the scheme was not that much in new news for past uh, for, for in the duration where RBI uh, you know RBI's news are required or are important from the examination point of view. Maybe from my end. i'm not uh, uh, i'm not able to get the news but if it has been in recent re news you can share the link or you can let me know what was the news i'll do research on it and if it is in news we will definitely cover but if this particular scheme is not in news it is not on high priority to be covered right that is why currently i have not added but please let me know if i am skipping something from my end uh, jay said the right answer rekha said the right answer uh, nabanita said the right answer okay yes so that is all in this video if you like the video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and you can also join our telegram channel to get the pdf of this and every lecture that we provide here on youtube i'll take uh, i'll take questions uh ajay see the the number that is being uh, mentioned on the screen that is reachable right if but you feel like that your uh, uh, your uh, nobody is answering the call well that uh, usually does not happen but if, if if that is the case kindly you can just mail it at hello@edutab.co.in okay the, you're, you're looking at this particular mail id you just type it here you can ask your queries and they'll revert it to you okay so there even you can mention that you right contacting and all these thing whatever information you want to add uh, if in your, in the mail if you'll provide will definitely revert i i hope that is fine and that is all in this video again if you want me to cover any scheme do let me know if it would be in news because currently we are targeting rbi it is the nearest examination that we have currently right so if that would fall in the time period where from where rbi news is asked and the news become important from the examination point of view will definitely look at the news will definitely uh, look at the scheme okay i hope uh, everything is clear uh, we'll meet